Hello, I'm Kunal, a cloud support engineer at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to install and enable the EPL repository on Amazon Linux, Red Hat, and CentOS Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances when the packages aren't available in standard repositories. Let's get started. Log into the AWS Management Console. As you can see, I have already launched EC2 instances using Amazon Linux, CentOS 7, CentOS 8, Red Hat 7, Red Hat 8. Correctly configure the security groups that are necessary to communicate with the EPL repo. Use SSH to connect to instance, then run the following command to verify the distribution. This is an Amazon Linux 2 system. After the distribution is verified, you can enable the EPL repository for that distribution. Let me show you how to enable this in the different distributions. Install the EPL release package and then enable the EPL repository on Amazon Linux 2. Install the EPL release package for Red Hat 8. Install and enable the EPL release package for Red Hat 7. This is a Red Hat 7 system. Install the EPL release package for Saint OS 8. Enable both the EPL and PowerTools repositories. Note that the PowerTools repository contains development tools required by many EPL packages. As we can see, this is CentOS 8. Install and enable the EPL release package on CentOS 7. Note that CentOS 7 includes the EPL release package in the base repositories. As we can see, this is CentOS 7. Now, to verify that EPL repository is enabled, run the following command. So now you know how to install and enable the EPL repository on Amazon Linux, Red Hat, and CentOS Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances when the packages aren't available in standard repositories. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>